problem is that some of those additives can actually be more harmful than the salt. It's widely known that road salt is damaging to the environment. Alternatives such as beet juice have become popular for a number of reasons, such as not needing to apply as much. But are they actually more eco-friendly? The problem is that it's, it's just more toxic. Beets have a high amount of potassium and potassium chloride is really toxic to aquatic organisms. There's all these sugars associated with the beet juice and those sugars fuel bacteria. And then we see this huge drop in, in oxygen. And of course, oxygen is essential for aquatic organisms. And if you don't have enough oxygen, you, it, it's gonna change the food web. But perhaps the answer isn't to replace the salt at all. And a project in Moncton, New Brunswick may have stumbled upon a more natural solution. A wetland connected to the city's snow disposal facility has reduced chloride levels from snowmelt by 66 to 93 percent when comparing water samples from the inlet and outlet of the marshland. So the more vegetation that comes into contact with the water, the more opportunity you have for absorption of nutrients. Um, you can knock out uh, sediment from suspensions. It's quite uh, shallow, which allows us to have a lot of emergent vegetation growing up through the surface of the water. The road salt in the snowmelt gets initially diluted by the water in the wetland and then is absorbed by some of the plant species growing within it, acting as another source of pollutant removal. The natural assets that uh, wetlands provide are, are really impressive. The reality is we need to make sure that we maintain what we have because they're doing all of these services for us.